Hello everyone, Caldera here again. Uh, this week showing you another uh, Bowles Academy. Uh, what I'm going to go over today is I'm, I'm going to debunk a, a common misconception. Uh, what we're going to go over to today is uh, basically uh, the gist of it is most people I, I feel get this wrong a lot is that uh, you know say if you have two units that assault and they're locked in combat and then that following round you have somebody else assault and uh, the misconception is that you like most people say oh well you can't assault this unit that just joined the combat you have to swing at what you were in combat with before uh, this is wrong and the reason for that is is basically in the rulebook it tells you you know what you're in base contact with is what you're going to swing at and uh, the example I'm going to show you today is uh, is the reverse of this like how this is can also get you in trouble by following this rule um, so what I'm going to do here is this assault uh, I've got an IC on an IC and then the squad on the squad um, the closest closest is the uh, the IC on the IC I'm going to go ahead and move them this next character or this next model is not cl not quite close enough to get into base contact with the squad so he's going to go to an already engaged model which is the IC and this is my power weapon uh, then I'll move everybody else up six inches and then, you know, because of the pilot move, everybody also join, join the fight. There's no question there. Now, if we look closely here, I'll move the camera in. Now we have the IC on their IC, uh, power weapon there. And then when they pile in, we'll have everybody engaged. The rest of this combat doesn't really matter. All right, so now the problem here is I really wanted to kill this IC. Now I've got my, my HQ and my squad power weapon on there, and then this is where normally it breaks down. Um, basically what you got to do is you got to take this whole combat and you go, all right, initiative 11, who's in base contact with who, and who's within two inches of another, another person to get their supporting attacks. So basically you count that, you look at that before the combat takes place, and you go, okay, those are the people who can swing it at the other person. Um, if you're not in base contact with them or... Uh, within two inches of them, you, you can't participate in that combat. So uh, a good example of this going wrong, I've had this happen to me before, is say I get my IC in here and I think maybe the IC doesn't have a good chance of killing that IC, so I got the other person there, the other power weapon to have a good chance of killing them. Well, what happens if my IC kills this IC? Blech, it's dead. Uh, what happens with my power weapon now? Uh, most people go, okay, well this power weapon can swing on uh, the squad now. That is also wrong. Uh, if you look at it, and initial 11, before everybody makes their swings, who's in base contact with who? Uh, the IC is here on, on their IC, so that's the only thing that they can swing at. This power weapon is in base contact with the IC. That's all they can ever swing at. So if he dies before that initiative happens, I lose out on that power weapon attack because he's not in contact with the squad at all. Now, if somehow they're in contact with both of them because of pilot moves and whatnot, then because you're in contact with both squad and IC, then that would happen. But in this case, that's that's uh, completely wrong. So there you have it. Basically, just look at initial 11, find out who's in contact with who, that's who you can swing at. Uh, if you guys have any questions you, uh, or comments, feel free to leave them at the end of the video. All right, have a good one.